एवरी वन वेलकम टू भारत टेस्ट गुरु सो टूडे आई हैव बॉट अनादर वीडियो फॉर यू इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन बाई वन वर्ड एंड टेल यू द वोकेबलरी ऑफ दैट वर्ड वॉट दैट वर्ड मीन्स सिनेम एंड एंटेन अबाउट दैट रिलेटेड टू दैट वर्ड इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव यूर वोकेबलरी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज द फर्स्ट वर्ड हियर awkward so awkward would be something which is um difficult a situation where which is very difficult to handle or uh, which is not very graceful or you're not skilled enough to handle that situation that situation or that thing will be calling you uh, will be uh, called awkward so uh, after that the synonym of that awkward would be ponderous inept ungainly graceless uncouth ponderous will be slowly and clumsy due to weight on size means something which is very um which is very slow or clumsy which is not very organized would be called ponderous and inept would be uh, means not showing skill enough or unskilled so as i told awkward would be situation which is you are not equipped enough or skilled enough so inept would be not not skilled ungainly will be um, moving in awkward position or um, uh, clumsy way or awkward situation um, graceless would be not kind or not very polite or not very graceful and uncouth would be behaving in a rude way so i have just explained to you what awkward means their synonyms ponderous inept ungainly graceless and uncouth antonyms would be uh clever dexterous elegant adroit skillful so antonyms are like um as i told awkward uh, would be a situation which is you are not skilled enough or you don't know you're not smart enough to handle so obviously the antonym would be clever because you are in like if awkward uh, clever would be opposite to awkward let's say that you have um if you are um, if you are shoplifting anything from a store so and the guy catches you it would be a awkward uh, con- uh, situation so if like you know if you are not ponderous or you are not skilled enough you are not going to give you a good example and antonym would be if you are shoplifting and you get caught you have given a wonderful um, reason for that that would be a clever so clever would be the opposite of awkward dexterous means something uh, or you have any dexterity or you have any great skill about it so as inept dexterous is the opposite of inept elegant would be as i said it will be a graceless situation for awkward situations so elegant is again opposite of graceless means graceful or um, good taste or attractive and skillful again the uh, word itself uh, if you are skilled enough adroit would be very clever or uh, skillful so i have this broke down this word for you awkward which means being in a very bad uh, situation or a situation which cannot be handled or you're not skilled enough or you're not smart enough to handle it can be a position it can be a situation it can be a thing it can be um a conversation so and synonym i as i told you ponderous inept ungainly graceful and count again i'll repeat ponderous means slow and clumsy inept means you're not skilled enough ungainly means moving in a awkward way or not not any gain you ha- uh, getting about uh, from that graceless would be not kind or polite and count would be behaving in a rude way now again synonym i'll explain it ex- uh, once again clever means you know you're smart dexterous means you're having a great skill elegant would be graceful or attractive skillful means again you are skilled adroit means clever and skillful so hence this is complete now coming to next word apparent okay so apparent means um which can be seen easy to see understand seeming or too true or possibly not too true means apparent which is very evident or very perceptible or very distinct apparent means like if you ha- you are uh, okay 
so let's come to apparent if apparent so if apparent means if you are topper of your class it means you are intelligent right so I've just given an example that if you are a topper of your class let's say you did very well from other from the other student if you're topper of your class then it's very apparent that you're likely to have more intelligence or more smart than others so um, apparent is something which is very easy to say or easy to percept or easy to understand it would be apparent means if um, if uh, let's see there is uh, uh, let's see if you are boiling a water and the water is uh, is not bubbling or not um, you know or making noise it's very apparent that water is not getting enough heat so there are a lot of things which can be easily seen and observed these are called apparent so synonym would be similar words would be evident again clear to see which is very evident uh, perceptible, able to see, or which very very no noticeable. Distinct would be easy to see, hear, smell, or feel, and very strong means you you know you're, it's very distinct or very strong word. Ostens ostensible means seemingly or said to be true, real, and palpable means obvious and noticeable. So as you see, all the synonyms are going in one direction. That's very noticeable. It's very clear. It's very um, easy to observe, it's easy to percept, and it's very obvious. So um, let's go to the antonyms now. The opposite of apparent would be obscure, means you're not very certain, not well known, okay? Vague, very, not very clear. Um, it's very uh, used in very general word, vague, not very specific word. Ambiguous. Ambiguous means able to be understood more than one way. Means if um, it can be understood in a way, in a lot of ways. Intangible. Intangible means it's not made of physical substance. And concealed means something very hiding or very secret. So as I say, apparent is very evident. Is it can be seen easily. So similarly, the antonyms would be very concealed which cannot which is not clear which cannot be understood or which cannot be um, a specific not clear so these are all the words which are used as antonyms of apparent so again I'm going to repeat it apparent is something which is evident easy to see understand very clear very uh, noticeable very observable and synonym would be evident which means clear to see Perceptible, which is very easy to notice or perceive. Distinct is a very strong word. As I said, it's very easy to see, hear, smell, or feel. Obstensible means it's very easy to true or very real. Palable means obvious and noticeable. Again, the antonyms of this word would be obscure, not well known or not very clear. Vague means again not very clear, very not very specific. Ambiguous means it can be understood or perceived in very many ways. Intangible would be um, not made of physical substance, could not touch it, and concealed would be something hidden. So I have uh, explained this all thing. Let's go to another slide. Abortive. So abortive is something <coughs> which is very you know. Um, Falling to achieve, uh, if you are not able to achieve anything, or you desire, you not get a desired result. Let's say that you plan to run a marathon and you practiced it very much, and then you went for the marathon, but you could not able to um, succeed or not uh, able to perform as you desired. That would the word uh, would be abortive for that. Okay, so abortive, which means something undesired results or um, not successful
or falling to achieve something. Okay, so let's go to the synonyms now. Synonym would be vain, useless, fruitless, unproductive, novatory. So vain means which is um, if you uh, you know uh, too proud of your own appearance, abilities, or achievement means uh, vain means something you have uh, worked for it's gone in vain means like no of no use. Useless means again no of use. Fruitless means you have uh, you know um, you know worked something very hard for something and you didn't got the results. Unproductive means it's um, even though you're trying for it, it's um, there is no result out of it. Okay. Nugatory. Nugatory means bad, inver invalid, means something which is um, not valid or valid, you know, parameters or something. So antonym would be effectual, productive, successful, progressive. So effectual would be something um, <clears throat> producing a desire. As I told you, <clears throat> excuse me, as I told you that it's an undesired result means you are not happy with the result again so effectual means desired result factual productive again a positive unproductive successful means um, as I said fruitless useless so it's a positive fruitless and useless progressive means as I told nugatory invalid or unprogressive so it's a positive that so I'll go again with the word so now we have uh, um, just broke down abortive for you. Abortive means something uh, which is undesired, give you undesired result, uh, not being successful, falling to achieve. So these are the words which are associated with abortive. The synonym would be vain, useless, fruitless, unproductive and nugatory. Vain would be if you, uh, you have done something hard, Put in something hard work and that has not been given you the desired result and then, then then we say that it all goes in vain so uh, that is that vain if here yeah. useless would be something which is of no use fruitless would be if you put your energy in something but the fruit hasn't come out and productive would be uh, if it's not uh, the activity or anything you're doing is not productive like see uh, nugatory would be invalid or unprogressive results antonym would be effectual means undesired uh, result is a positive pain uh, productive would be something which is a productive successful which would be you got desired fruit or progressive would be uh, you know a progressive would be um, as i told earlier um, it would be producing desired result so we have just broken down this word abortive now let's move to the another word aversion Aversion means a strong feeling of not liking something. Means let's say that you have food aversion. People say that generally people have food aversions. Like you know you strongly don't like any any kind of food. So um, people say that you know I have a food aversion for um, let's say a restaurant cooked food. People say I don't like uh, food which is cooked out of the home. They love only home cooked food. So they have food aversions. So that aversion means you have strong feeling of uh, disliking something or you have disgust about something. Okay. So uh, the synonym would be repugnant. Repugnant would be causing a strong feeling of dislike. Antipathy. Antipathy means a strong feeling of again dislike. Hideous means a very ugly or disgusting obnoxious means un in an unpleasant way you feel offended annoyed or disused and um, nefarious means evil or immoral okay so let's visit this word one by one uh, so first word would be repugnant repugnant means causing a strong feeling of dislike or disgust means you don't like anything um, see if you can see here this baby he's making his face for this broccoli means 
he's not liking that he is not liking to eat uh, broccoli and fruit so that would be um, repugnant antipathy would be uh, again as i said again it's a dislike hideous would be like it's not very ugly and it's not very uh, it's not very beautiful to the eye so it would be hideous obnoxious would be you know, people say i'm feeling obnoxious today i don't feel like eating so um obnoxious nefarious as i told it would be if you are annoyed or don't like anything so that would be a very immoral thing that would be nefarious so let's go to the antonyms now antonyms allure affectionate endearing benevolent so allure means um again as we say um the food is not attractive or your aversion of uh, let's say um of you know you i let's say i have i have a, a version of a red uh, velvet cake or something so means i am not attractive to that uh, red velvet cake so allure would be i am attracted to like it would be the opposite of uh, not attractive it would be allure means you are attracted to um, uh, you know um, that that uh, kind of food or that kind of people or that kind of situations affectionate would be again you know, showing affection or love endearing would be you know um admiring someone or uh, becoming someone beloved uh, be volent would be very kind and generous and you know good things doing good things to the others so uh, let's um, again go to the word aversion means synonym would be uh, repugnant antipathy hate is obnoxious aversion means you're not liking anything or you have disgust of something you're disliking anything synonym would be repugnant which means you don't like that thing antipathy means you have dislike for that hideous is very ugly very disgustful obnoxious is like that you you don't like that you feel uh, disgust uh, nefarious would be very evil or immoral antonyms again i'll go back allure would be something very attractive affectionate would be very love showing love and affection endearing would be again um uh, admiring something benevolent means being generous and being kind and being doing good things so um now so next move to another slide ally 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 means to uh, make something less severe or less strong means um means uh, allure means huh, as i was saying allure means some need to mean something less severe or less um, less strong so um I, i can give you a good example means like you know if if someone is very furious or something very um, angry you say you know ally yourself little bit and think about it you know if you are um, in a very bad situation you're panicking or something so then we say generally we will saying that you know be la and you know uh, don't think about much let's and la this condition so this kind of word can be used so i've just given you an example of that and now go, let's go to the synonym it will reduce modify relieve mitigate elevate reduce of course as i said it has it has to you know um, less severe or you are making something less so of course you are reducing something so so reducing intensity or reducing any anger or reducing anything in a any any kind of situation it would be la uh modify would be um modify would be uh, to make someone less angry if someone is very angry or so furious as i said given the example someone is furious or angry you modify them ki you know chalo you know calm calm down don't think otherwise things happen and all that so relief would be same similar thing to reduce or remove mitigate would be to make something less severe elevate would be to reduce the pain or trouble of something so um, i covered all the words i'll again um, Uh, explain to after explaining the antonyms of this antonym would be um aggravate um 
heightened, agitate, excite, increase. Heightened would be again increasing the amount or degree or the extent. Um, exacerbate would be to make or um, uh, make an injury or a problem or serious or severe situation to make someone angry, to bother someone, to annoy someone. And agate would be to disturb, to anger, to uh, you know, um, to support people in an opposite way. Uh, excite would be to cause feeling of enthusiasm in someone. And increase would be to become larger or greater in size. So as I t told, LA would be something to reduce or something to uh, less that kind of situation. So antonym would be the bother of that means increase it. To um, let's break down this word again. To to make something less. So less is the keyword. Okay. reduce remove the name would be reduce modify relieve mitigate elevate and it would be aggravate heighten excite agitate uh, excite increase let's move to another word exome exome would be a rule or principle Exome would be a rule or principle that many people accept as true. Means, um, for example, uh, you know, um, people have been doing some some kind of uh, thing like you know, exome, some kind of rituals they follow, or habit they follow, they because they believe that rule and that principle is right. Like, you know, it's very good. If you uh, woke up in the morning to exercise, because believed or it's a it's a rule that if you exercise in the morning, it's much beneficial for your body. So, or um, let's say that it is believed that uh, you know uh, if you're if you're traveling uh, somewhere, it's believed that if you travel uh, through a uh, you know um shorter distance, it's very good for you because travel would be less of a hectic to you. So there are a lot of things, rules and principles in this world. Again, every culture have their own rules and principles. Like in India, we, we believe that there's a rule that, you know, um, you know, you should respect uh, your old race, your old uh, uh, seniors, people. So that is, we believe that, you know, that rule or principle is good. So exam would be a principle or a rule which is believed to be true or believed to be a fact so a synonym would be maxim dictum truth exactness precision as i told it believed to be true so uh, obviously the synonym would be nearby like maxim is like it's a um, well-known phrase that express a general truth about life or a rule about behavior and dictum would be a statement or well-known well remark that express an important idea or rule. Truth would be a real fact about something. Exactness means to demand and get something very precise. So precision would be the quantity of being precise or exact or accuracy. So uh, as I told, uh, these all words, again, uh, they, these all words contribute that Exom means something which people think is correct or something which is the uh, rule and principle has to be uh, you know got down long time that has to be correct like I've given example also um, you know uh, let's say they say that you know uh, hard hard labor gives you success it has to be believed to be true that if you do hard, uh, hard work is going to give you uh, good fruits and all that so uh, this kind of rules and principle people uh, believe to be in uh, sense from century. So that is what exam means. Exam. Antonym would be absurdity, blunder, ridiculousness, or irrelevant. Again, as I said, if it's very exactness, precise, and untruth. So the antonym has to be absurd. Means you're not um, something which is absurd, or extremely silly, or unreasonable, or foolish. 
so as I told it has to be very rule and principle very specific very precise very up to right so the antonym would be of course that opposite word would be something which is a absurd extremely silly or foolish or unreasonable a blunder would be something very awkward or confused or stupid or a careless mistake um, ridiculousness would be extremely silly or unreasonable relevant which is very not relevant or not at par to the situation so um, this is what uh, means uh, exome of opposite so I've just broken down this word for you let's move to another word Asadios. Asadios means showing great care or attention or effort. Okay, so um, like you know, um, if someone has a lot of care about their child or their baby, it's called asadios. If you have genuine um, care or great care about your team members, your children, or your family, it would be asadios. So synonyms would be. Constant, diligent, preserving, steadfast, endurance. Constant would be which is happening all the time, very often, you know, and um, or staying for a long time. Okay. And diligent would be very active or busy or very engaged or tied up. Um, preserving would be to keep something in original state to preserve something. And state for state would be very devoted or loyal to a person. Endurance would be the ability to do something difficult for a long time. So all this word denotes to ups assiduous means you are constant caring, you're constant giving attention, you're constant um, giving your effort to something. Diligent would be again you're active or you're very engaged into that process. Uh, preserving would be something you know you're preserving that thing in a real, you're caring for that thing. Like people, they say that he is very assorious with his things. Means he's preserving. He he like to keep this thing in a very original state. He like to care about that thing, and he he you know uh, keeps that thing in very original state. Um, state fort is very devoted and loyal to that uh, person. Endurance would be something very difficult. Uh, you know, uh, something to do very difficult for a long time. Of course, with a great care. So antonym of this word would be the opposite words would be indolent, lethargic, fluctuate, sporadic, or wayward. So intolerant means not liking to work or to being active. Lethargic means picking a lack of energy or a lack of interest in doing things. Uh, fluctuate would be to change level, strength, or value very frequently. Sporadic means casual, discontinuous, irregular happenings. Wayward means tending to behave in certain ways and not Socially acceptable means, um, as I said, absurdist means great care, attention, effort. So, opposite would be what not interest, not interested, no energy. not frequent, not constant, okay, so uh, I have broken this word, uh, let's go to abjure, abjure means to reject things formally, okay, to reject, okay. to reject something, Now, uh, uh, let's say that you know um, you are working in, let's say, Gurgaon, okay, and your company says that uh, you know we are going to transfer it to some other state, like or some other place, let's say Bangalore or Mumbai, and you are saying that I abjure it very politely. Means you are rejecting that offer or that uh, transfer offer very politely. So abjure means to reject things very something very formally. So synonym would be forsake, renounce, relinquish, abandon, quash. 
Forse could be to give up something or to leave. For someone, entirely. Renounce midbing means to say specially in a formal and official way. Okay. Uh, to relinquish means to give up or to give something which is power, control or possession. Abandon means to leave or never return to. Squash means to suppress or restrain similarly. So, as I said, this word means you are rejecting. Renounce means you are... So, um, as I was saying, observe. Observe means, um, you know, uh, to reject something. So, here, reject. Reject. So, it's very, the forsake would be, let's start for again. Forsake would be something which you're giving up. You're not very um, uh, going to leave it. or You're not very interested to do that. Renounce would be to giving up very formal and very official language. Like I said that you're rejecting someone's offer or work offer or transfer order or maybe a voluntary retire offer that you're rejecting to be renounced. The language means um, to give up something. Abandon means you're giving something and you're never coming back. And quash means to suppress or extinguish similarly or completely. So the opposite word we're going to learn now. Approve, sanction, patronize, trim, and draw. Means you're not up. Observe means, as I said, you're rejecting. So, antonym would be approving. You're approving something. Okay. Sanction, you're um, sanctioning something. An action that is taken uh, or an order that is given to force to obey something. Okay. And patronize means you're uh, giving money or support to something. Trim means... Um, a great important victory or uh, um, you're endorsing something so this will be the opposite of absorb accepting you know approving forcing to follow patronizing it means you're supporting patronizing means you're supporting trium means you're getting victory Endorsing means you're endorsing. So, okay. So, uh, let's move to another slide. Abject. Abject means very severe. Very severe. Or extremely bad. I have an abject condition. I have abject condition of a certain disease. Or I have abject, I have an abject financial condition. I have severe bad condition of finance. So this kind of word uh, can be used in this way. And um, synonym would be des despicable, servile, observe coincidence, slavish, and psychophantic. Okay. So despicable means very bad or unpleasant or deserving. Survive means very obedient and trying too hard to please. Obcuse means too eager to help and obey someone important. Selfish means copying and following someone or something completely without any attempt to be the original or independent. Psychophantic means a person who praises powerful people in order to get their approval. So, what can be a um, synonym of this? Very bad. Okay, dispersal means. Severe means very bad, very bad, um, okay, yeah, okay, so let's go to this one, and we are done, okay, so, uh, as I said, despicable uh, means very bad or unpleasant, okay, they obviously it's very severe, that is very unpleasant, Survive means very obedient or trying too hard to please someone. As the extreme bad conditions are there, trying to, too hard to please someone. Obscuseous means too eager to help or to obey someone important. Coping for forming someone or something. 
and psychopathic means a person who is powerful who praise powerful people in order to get their approval so let's come to antonyms now exhalated commendable praiseworthy impossible assertive exhalated means to raise someone or something to a higher level uh, commendable means to praise someone um, you know uh, someone or some higher level people again praise deserving praise imposing means very large and very uh, impressive assertive means very um, confident very in you know in their behavior their personality and their style so as i said abject means very bad uh, conditions or um, you know um, trying too hard to please someone so obviously the antonym would be uh, praiseworthy or uh, commendable or exhalated or imposing so um, i'm going to again tell you um, repeat this word abject abject means very severe or very bad extremely bad condition or actually a bad person or thing or whatever um so synonym would be dispensable servile ambiguous selfish and psychopathic dispensable means very bad and unpleasant servile means very obedient and trying too hard to please someone obsconscious means um too eager or you know to obey someone or very important someone selfish means to copying um following someone or um, something completely without any attempt okay psychopathic would be a person who praise powerful people uh, in order to get their approval antonyms would be exhalated commendable praiseworthy imposing assertive so exit um exit exalted means to raise or uh, someone in very higher level to praise or to present someone commendable means again to praise praiseworthy means again deserving praise imposing means very large very impressive assertive means very confident in their personality they behave and they are strong let's come to next word which is authentic who is this yeah authentic authentic means very real or very genuine which is not very copied or it is not very false so uh, authentic would be very to what's the other word accurate you know um uh, original that would be authentic so let's write here original accurate real genuine not copied these are the words used for authentic synonym would be genuine as i already covered which is real valid which is uh, again genuine legitimate means like which is legitimate it that it is true or factual real tangible means which can be seen scrupulous means um, very careful about doing something very correctly so uh, let's cover this word um, so authentic means 100% let's say they are original we have authentic leather products let's say means it's 100% made of leather so that's how it's stated as that uh, sort of a quality or an accuracy of that product or that situation or it's very authentic food it's very authentic uh, culture you can say so uh, okay now cov- covering the synonym antonym would be very uh, actual real or true or sincere okay or honest valid would be very fair and reasonable legitimate means allow according to rules or laws tangible means easily seen or recognized or touch or felt um scrumptious means um, scrumptious means very careful about doing something very correctly now come to antonyms fake unreliable deceptive superior treacherous means fake not true not real you know meant to look uh, they meant to look but not genuine unreliable means you cannot rely on that um uh, deceptive means intend to make someone believe something else means you know um like a lie or something is not real Spurious means not genuine, sincere, authentic. Treacherous means not able to trust it or doing something can't be trusted. So this is complete. Let's move to another. This. Aaron. Aaron means to state the changes against someone who is accused of crime in a formal procedure before a judge. 
means uh, if you're adding someone you're saying some if you're adding someone you're saying that uh, someone is who is accused of the of crime has um, someone who is accused of that crime in a formal procedure like if i'm saying that someone has done like right now there is a 2g scam which is going on um, just just now the results have come out because of lack of evidence he got cleared mr rajan so um so what this did uh, the opposite party have arrange they have done a formal procedures or a procedure which is followed in a basic system of law to accuse someone that he is uh, you know um, he has done that crime against the state so that it would be calling arrange as in it would be to accuse someone in formal procedure of law system or or in or in front of judge okay so now would be admonish blame uh, justice prosecute censure so um admonish admonish me to speak uh, to speak someone in a way that expresses disapproval or criticism uh blame means to blame someone or holding someone responsible for that job chastise means to criticize someone harshly prosecute means to hold a trial against someone or accuse someone for the crime and uh, censure means officially strong criticism now come to antonym would be exculpate pardon condone uh oxonerate and justify so exculpate means uh to prove someone is not guilty of doing something pardon means a act of officially saying someone who is just to be guilty of a crime condone means uh to give uh, forgive or approve someone or exculpate means to prove someone is not guilty and justify means just to give justification a good reason that why he is not involved so as i said um, arrange means to blame someone to uh, antonym would be to pardon someone or to justify someone so i hope you understand this word let's move to this one apathy apathy means um excuse me <clears throat> apathy means the feeling of not having much emotion or interest like we say sympathy sympathy means you having you having um uh, uh emotions of uh, you know care not so apathy is something uh, um opposite of uh, you know emo emotionless so let's start here synonyms would be synonyms would be unconcern indifference aloofness lethargy or lack of interest unconcern would be a uh, lack of care or not interested indifference means lack of int again lack of interest aloofness is not involved fit or friendly towards other people lethargy means a lack of energy a lack of interest means lack of interest so we said apathy means your emotion less emotion less or not interest antonyms would be of course a positive apathy means you are concerned you're zilled you're fervor you enthusiasm adore so zil means a strong feeling of interest fervor means a strong feeling of excitement or enthusiasm enthusiasm means strong excitement about something adore means a strong feeling of energy or eagerness and uh, adore means yeah adore means a strong feeling of love also so apathy i covered uh, emotionless it would be unconcerned indifference aloofness lethargy lack of interest unconcern again means lack of care lack of interest indifference means again lack of concern lack of interest aloofness again not involved very friendly with that people lethargy means lack of energy or lack of interest to doing things lack of interest antonyms would be again i'll cover concern 
to rate something you know, you're concerned about someone to involve real means a strong feeling of interest friends means strong feeling of excitement enthusiasm means a strong excitement about something and uh, adore means a strong feeling of energy <clears throat> move to another word alien so a lot of word would be uh, would be familiar with this picture jadu <laughs> just joking uh, aliens means alien means not familiar or like something you have known or uh, not from uh, that local uh, area or that country or not suitable or acceptable now a uh, synonym of this alien would be foreigner stranger immigrant extraterrestrial exotic so let's cover one by one a foreigner would be a person who is uh, from another country and not your own stranger would be someone you have not met before or have not met before uh immigrant would be a person who leaves their country and a region to live in another country extraneous means to forming a necessary part of something Exotic means very different, strange, unusual. Now, come to antonyms. Of course, if you means you know you are not familiar to local area or country, means the opposite would be native, citizen, resident, vernacular, or indigenous. Okay. Now, native, citizen, resident means of that country. vernacular means of relating or using language indigenous means produce living existing in similar region now uh, come to the other word al alacrity a quick and cheerful readiness to do something means you have i have alacrity today to go to the gym you know you are very quick and cheerful to go to the gym and it's called alacrity so i'll write to quick to quick and cheerful readiness okay the so synonym would be swiftness brickness promptness vigor vivacity let's cover one by one swiftness means happening and done quickly immediately moving or able to move fast brickness means moving or speaking quickly quick and efficient promptness means to call someone doing something to call something Vigor means strength, energy, and determination. Vigor it means happy and lively in a way that is attractive. Antonyms. Antonyms means laziness, sluggish, indolence, fatigue, and weakness. Sluggishness means moving slowly and lazy. Indolence means the quality or state of being lazy. The state of being tired, fatigue means and wearing weariness means to leave lacking strength or energy and freshness. So now let's move to another word. Adversity. Adversity means a difficult situation or condition. Synonym means misfortune, calamity, misery, catastrophe, doldrums. So let's cover one by one. Misfortune means bad luck or unlucky condition. Calamity means an event that causes great harm. Misery means extremely suffering. Catastrophe means terrible disaster. Doldrum means a state of period of sadness and depression. Like I say, tsunami was an adversity. Okay. Now, antonym would be resolution, auspice, ecstasy, isolation, rapture. Means uh, resolution, act of finding an answer. Especially, not showing is testing that future success likely. Ecstasy means a state of being great happiness. Isolation means a feeling of great happiness. Rapture means 
a state and feeling of great happiness so all these things adversity means bad situation or difficult situation or sadness or misfortune antonym would be happiness or good or a great happiness and uh, you know uh, something which is very fortunate now come to this word antique antique means belonging to belonging to belonging to an old age now uh, antique means belonging to an entire period style or fashion the noun would be ancient old fashion primitive and past and in ancient would be very old or very lived or existed for a while old fashion would be not longer useful or acceptable primitive means belonging to and seemingly to come from an early time past means used to refer to a time which is gone has recently like antique uh, there are a lot of antique uh, you know items which are sold or auctioned so these are like this phone antonyms antonym would be of course ancient ka uh, ancient supported means modern um, novelty amplify sorry novelty and uh, vogue modern or relating something to present time recent means happening or being uh, just recently and novelty means uh, quality of state being now and different and work means something uh, popular in particular time and place to the other word amplify amplify would be to increase the strength or increase the electrical signal of anything okay to increase to increase synonym would be enlarge extend deliration accelerate and exact enlarge means to make uh, larger extend means to cause something big deliration means to uh, become larger and wider Elevate means to lift, to exalt, or to raise. Means if you are, um, let's say, you are using an amplifier, you are actually you are using your enlarging, you are increasing your voice strength to, you know, to cater a long uh, crowd. That would be uh, called amplifying. Antonym would be curtail, diminution, contraction. Uh, disgrace and decline. Uh, Curtail means to reduce or limit. Diminution means to act and progress the uh, process of being less. Uh, con contraction means to act and process making something smaller. Uh, <clears throat> uh, disgrace means which is uh, not very graceful. Decline means to become lower in amount or less. Okay. So uh, let's move to another word. Amass. Amass means gather, gathering, a huge gathering, or um, to collect something. Collect something. Okay. Synonym would be accumulate, throng, crowd, swarm, congregation. Accumulate means to gather and acquire. Throng means a large group of people. Crowd means to fill, and there are little, uh, no room for anyone. And uh, Swarm means uh, a very large number of uh, insects. Uh, congregation means the people who are attending to religion service. So these all things are related. Um, antonym would be disperse, dissipate, scatter, especially and paucity. Disperse means to go move, uh, go and move in different directions. Dis dissipate means to cause and speed out and disperse. Scatter means to cause things or people to separate. Sparsely means present only a small amount. 
and perfume means a small amount of something which is very less than um, needed or wanted so a mask would can be if you're going to a church then it would be a mask because a lot of people were coming joined together for a single course of time and antonym would be something which is very a positive fact adjacent Adjacent means close or nearby, or uh, sharing a border, a wall, or point. So, um, synonym would be adjoining, beside, proximity, closeness, and contiguous. So, adjoining uh, means um, of a building or room. Let's say the, the adjacent house is blue color. A very normal example means the adjoining house. Beside means just beside of that, just by the side. Proximity is a state of being near. Close means to move nearby contagious means uh, used to describe things touch and each other and immediately next to each other okay now come to antonyms distance separate remote inaccessible and slight distance means of course uh, happening from far away in places or separating from a very big space uh, separate means um, to um, uh, you know to cause two or more people things or stop something which is joined or connected uh, remote means very far away, slight means very small in degree or amount, inaccessible means difficult to access or approach. Now, come to our next word which is called acrimony. Acrimony means angry or bitter feelings. Then would be bitterness, resentment, irate, rancor, malice and malevolence. Bitterness of having a strong and often unpleasant flavor. Okay. Um, resentment would be a feeling of anger, displeasure, and it means intense anger, or in common means anger feeling, malignant desire to uh, cause harm to other person, male ones means having a showing a desire to cause harm to another person. So as you see, all the antonyms are either desire to harm or anger. Okay, so antonyms would be sweetness, humanity, benevolence, amity, and esteem. Sweetened means contain a lot of sugar and gentle and kind and friendly, very pretty, cute. Humanity means the quality of state of being human and being uh, kind and graceful. Uh, benevolence means kind and generous and organized. Amity means a feeling of friendship, friend, relationship and nations. Esteem means respect and affection. So let's move to another slide. Now, next word is awkward awkward means to give to give some special treatment or status to someone or something it's called accord okay so um the number would be <clears throat> agreement harmony connoissance compatible paternity um so there would be uh words would be like this uh, agreement means to act of agreeing as patient or uh, sharing opinion uh, harmony means combination of different musical uh, notes played together uh, coherence means in agreement with something compatible means able to exist in, uh, together without fortunate means an organization of male student or for you a group of people uh, now coming to the antonyms disagreement discord feud strip and controversy so disagreement means failure or agree. Discord means a lack of agreement between people. Uh, feud means being engaged in prolonged and bitter quarrel dispute. Strive means very angry and violent disagreement. Controversy means agreement involves many people and strong disagreement about people. And so uh, this is a court. I have discovered a court. Now come to a bash. Means to make someone. feel confused or foolish like um, he just made me abash in front of my boss if he just made me fool or confused in front of my boss so synonym would be discourage embarrass obscure deter distort means uh, to make someone less determined discourage embarrass means to make someone nervous or confused Obscure means not well known or not known most people. Um, 
det deter means to cause or decide not to do something and dissuade means to convince not to do something okay antonyms would be encourage embolden instigate provoke motivate encourage means to make someone more determined uh, abdomen means to make someone more complete instigate means to make someone very happy to, or begin to work to um, provoke means to cause occurrence and feeling motivate means to give reason to do something okay last word uh, adjection adject adject means a word or phrase such as uh, adverb that provides added information about meaning of that verb means something that is joined or added to another thing that is not essential part of it is called adject means let's see a uh, lot of things which are added like you know if you are cooking something you see that uh, often uh, this vegetable comes with a lot of adject adject means this can be chop it off you can chop it off and eat the main thing or you uh, you if you have take eaten orange or something if you say that the uh, the pe peeling the orange that is the adject part of it it's not necessary and it comes with it so let's go with the sentence it's got appendage complement addition joining Med uh, appendage means a uh, body part medical body part which is connected and uh, compl complement means uh, something which is complement something else to making it better addition means a process of joining something to someone and uh, uh, antonym would be lessening separation subtraction removal so uh, the removal would be act of moving uh, taking out something uh, lessening means to making it less separation would be to separating something or subtraction would be simply uh, removing something so uh, i explain this all words to you hopefully this will be helpful for your examination i hope all the very best to all the candidates out here thank you for watching